Hello and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if I asked for the top ten Britpop albums and you said definitely maybe, I'd say certainly yes. But if you said Queen's Greatest Hits, I'd think you'd gone Radio Gaga. The more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's meet today's team. It's Saints and Winners. <laughs> Hello, Saints and Winners. So do tell me, why you called that? Well, we all met at the University of Southampton mm. 15 years ago now. Um, so that explains the Saints part of the nickname uh, and winners because we're hoping to come away here with a, a big cash prize. Great. Welcome to the show. Let's get the winning underway. <laughs> OK, Saints and Winners, it's time to release the first question. The last ten car makes alphabetically on the Kazoo website. So, Rich, as captain, you need to decide who's the best teammate for this one. It's a tough one, Warwick, but I think I'm going to go for Mark. Mark, please join me to play Tenable. Come on. Come on, this. Hello, Mark. Welcome to the show. So, what do you do, Mark? Uh, I'm a maths teacher. Are you strict or do you go for likeable? Uh, a bit of both. Now, I'm told you love the artist Monet. Uh, yeah, that's true. A couple of years ago for my birthday, my wife uh, took me to visit his house in France. Uh, so we saw the gardens and the bridge and the water lilies, which was really good. You know, this bloke came up to me in the gallery once and he said, have you got any money? Turns out he was just a brummy fella after some cash. <laughs> <laughs> now, he like impressionists. Uh, yes. I can do impressions. Who's this huge movie star? <laughs> yes, it's Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mark, are you ready to play Tenable? I think so, yeah. All right, then, let's battle this board. Here's how the game works. You need five Tenable answers to put £1,000 into your prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Mark, you have one life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that and you're out of the game. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Mm -hmm. Also, your team captain, Rich, can overall one of your answers. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yeah, I think so. Good. Here's your question again. The last ten car makes alphabetically on the Kazoo website. Now, I will just clarify this for you. We are looking for the last ten brands of car alphabetically listed under make on the buy a car section of the website kazoo.co.uk as of the end of December 2021. Is that clear? Yep. Fabulous. OK, when you're ready, what's your first answer? I'm going to say Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen Tenable. <laughs> yes, it is. Good one, I'm up. Uh, Volvo. Let's have a look. Is Volvo Tenable? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get another answer on the board. Uh, let's try Toyota. Is Toyota tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. You are motoring through this board. Well done, Mark. <laughs> uh, Subaru. Is Subaru tenable? Good work. So you're a petrol head? Oh, I wouldn't say that, but quite enjoy cars, yeah. So look at this, you're one away from £1,000 and your place in the final now. I'm going to go for Skoda. For £1,000 and a place in the final, is Skoda our fifth tenable answer? So those triumphant tones means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. Plus, we'll add £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Now, Mark, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can continue. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But do be warned, if you play on, you'll be on your own. You can't use your nominate and your captain's overall button has been deactivated. You've still got a life so you can make one mistake. Yeah, I'll play on, please. Confident. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
Okay. I'm going to try Tata. So, for £2,500, is Tata tenable? That was untenable, Mark. Oh, dear, so you've lost your life now. Be careful here. I think I'm going to take the money and uh, go back to the chair. OK, so you've decided to take the money. We'll add that £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll be joining our Captain Rich in the final. Before you do sit down, though, let's reveal these missing cars. Behind number eight, we have... Oh. Sir Vauxhall, number six. Tesla, number five. Suzuki, number three. It's Sang Yong. And number two is Smart. Easy when you can see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Team, you've got £1,000 in your prize fund so far, but can you add to that? It's time to take a look at your next list. The first ten UK cities after Belfast, alphabetically. So, Rich, who's the best teammate for this one? It was a tough one because we've got two geography students, but I'm going to go for Ali for this one. Ali, it's time to play Tenable. Well, Ali. Ali. Well, Ali. Well, Ali. Hello, Ali. Welcome to the game. So, what do you do? I am a subsea cable engineer. So, it design... What does that mean? I design um, subsea cable systems connecting yeah. remote parts of the world up to the internet. So how long are these cables? Oh, it could be up to, like, thousands, thousands of kilometres. Well, yeah. one piece of wire, that long? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm told you dream of taking part in the Round the World Clipper race. Yeah, I did a lot of sailing when I was younger, and I think it'd be an incredible experience, an incredible mm. challenge, just to travel the world on these sailing boats. Absolutely, yeah. I need to win a lot of money today to realise that dream. Well, I hope you do. You know, I won a clipper race the other week. Shaved my cousin Barry's back in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a very heavy back. OK, Ali, nice to be pally, but don't dilly dally. It's time for your list. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Yes, I'm ready. Good. Let's take a look at your list again. The first ten UK cities after Belfast, alphabetically. In an alphabetical list of official UK cities, we're looking for the first ten that come after Belfast. This is as of December 2021. All right, best of luck with this. And uh, when you're you. ready, let's get your first answer on that board. Um, um, I'm going to go with Cardiff as my first answer. OK. Is Cardiff tenable? Yes, it is. Good work, Ali. Um, and then we'll start closer to the... Well, what I hope will be the top of the list and mm. say Birmingham. Is Birmingham tenable? I want to see. Very good. Um, and then next one, I think, Bristol. Is Bristol in this list? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well done. So Captain Rich said there were two geography experts. Are you one of them? I am. I studied at university um, with Jamie. So you're the right man so for this So it is one. more than just capital cities. But, um, <laughs> it is a bit more than that. It's coming in useful here. Um, I'm going to say... Brighton. Is Brighton tenable? There it is. Brighton and Hove. Brighton and Hove, yeah. Should have known that. So, um, Ali, you looked a bit worried there. Yeah, I was a little bit. I've got one lined up. It's a city I used to live in, actually. Um, Cambridge. So, for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Cambridge our fifth tenable answer? Now, first-class fanfare means you've got five tenable answers 
and you won a place in the final. We'll also add that £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done, Ali. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can continue. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But be warned, if you play on, you'll be on your own. You can't use your nominate, and your Captain Rich can't overrule you. Okay. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. I'd like to continue. Um, there's a CA city up there, which I think must be Canterbury. For £2,500. Is Canterbury tenable? You're breathing a sigh of relief there, I saw. Yeah, a little bit unsure on that one, actually. Um, might be a little bit of a jump from the C's to the D's here, but I'm going to try... I think it's a city. Um, Durham? For £5,000. Is Durham tenable? That was untenable. Shame. So Durham is a city, but it's too far down this list. Now, Ali, you've lost your life, so another incorrect answer means you're in the vortex and you'll lose the £2,500 you've banked. In the vortex, there's no internet. Should know these. It's classic pub quiz knowledge, really. Classic tenable knowledge. Classic tenable knowledge, We're yeah. more than the pub quiz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a risky one, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk. Um, I should be able to get that out of the B. So your next correct answer is worth £5,000. Yeah, I've got a couple of risky ones. Um, Are you going to risk it, though? <sighs> no, I don't think I am. I'm having a bit of a mind blank here, so I think I'm going to take the money. So you've decided to take the money, we'll add the £2,500 to your team's prize fund, and you are guaranteed a place in the final with your captain, Rich. Before you sit down, though, let's reveal these missing answers. So, what were your risky ones, now the pressure's off? Bournemouth and Colchester. OK. What about the rest of the team? Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were Bournemouth and Bradford. Yeah. Bradford oh, was Bradford. the one Bradford. I would said. OK, should we have Chester. a look? Chester, Behind yeah. number 10, we have... Chester. OK. Which I heard from over there. Number 9? Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Got number answer, eight, Sophie. Carlisle, and number two is Bradford, which yeah. is what somebody said. I'd have been in the vortex. <laughs> well, Ali, you've added £2,500 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £3,500, and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Ali. Woo, thank well, you. Ali. After the break, the next member of Saints and Winners takes on their very own game board, you can head to the kitchen, but don't go switching. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where Saints of Winners have been taken on our Towers of Ten. Mark and Dally have made it through to the final, and they have banked £3,500. Let's get straight on with our next Tower of Ten. The last ten Prime Ministers who served for more than five years. So, Rich, Who's the right person for this one? Well, this is quite an easy one. Um, Joe considers himself a bit of an expert on politics, so uh, it's up to him to, to bank us some big money. Joe, please join me to play Tenable. Come on, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Joe, welcome to the game. Hi, Warwick. So, Rich says you're an expert. Uh, I did politics at university, so uh, I'm probably setting myself up for a bit yeah, of a Yeah, the bar is set very high now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very So, Joe, so. what do you do now? Uh, I'm a recruitment consultant. Now, you've told us a very special fan is watching today. My granddad, uh, Norman, he's 93. And, Hello, uh, Norman, how are you doing? Yeah, he watches all the afternoon quizzes, so I'm sure he'll be tuning in, yeah. Is this one his favourite? Uh, uh, yeah. Hang on, no hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> Say yeah straight away. Yeah, Cut yeah. the hesitation out, please. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. OK, Joe, let's take that screen and turn it green. You know the rules. Five tenable answers will earn you a place in the final and add £1,000 to your prize fund. You've got a life and three nominates. And your team captain, Rich, can overrule one of your answers. So, are you ready to play tenable? Yes. Good. It's time to tackle your ten. 
the last 10 prime ministers who served for more than five years. We are looking for the 10 most recent UK prime ministers who, when they left office for the last time, has served five or more years as PM. This is about the total time served by each prime minister. Is that clear, Joe? Yes, all right. Fantastic. So you're confident still? Yeah, mildly. Great. He's doing this for you, Grandad. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get an answer on the board. I'd like to go for Tony Blair, please. Is Tony Blair tenable? There he is. Served for 10 years and two months. Um, Margaret Thatcher. Let's see. Is Margaret Thatcher tenable? There she is. In power for 11 years and six months. OK. Uh... Harold Wilson. Is Harold Wilson tenable? <laughs> yes, he is. So seven years across two non consecutive terms. Okay. So, how are you coming up with these answers? Uh, trying to do it chronologically, which is probably going to catch me out at some point. Um, on that basis, uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too far down the list. Uh, I will go for Winston Churchill. Let's find out. Is Winston Churchill tenable? <laughs> yes, well played. Um, now, this is more of a gamble, but I'm trying to think of the sort of liberals that just hung around for ages. Uh, so my first one would probably be uh, David Lloyd George, who would probably come nine or ten, I would imagine. So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is David Lloyd George tenable? was untenable, Joe. You've lost your life. Be careful here. Another incorrect answer means you'll leave via the vortex with nothing. Can I go John Major? So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is John Major tenable? That tuneful tinkle means you've got five tenable answers, Joe, and you won a place in the final. We'll also add the £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Thank you. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up to the left to reveal. If you think you know more of them, you can continue. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. But be warned, if you choose to play on, you'll be on your own. You can't nominate anyone to help you, and Rich can't overrule you. Remember, you have lost a life, so a wrong answer will knock you out of the game. Yeah. So you're still feeling confident? The David Lloyd George thing has knocked me, and mm. I don't want to risk the money, Warwick, to be brutally honest with you. What should he do, Grand, then? <laughs> he'll know them all as well. Will he? Yeah, yeah, he'll know every single one. Um, but I will bank the money, please. Although Rich did say you were an expert. Yeah, <laughs> but not what, for... Save him for more. Is it the pressure <laughs> yeah. of the Tenable Tower? Yeah, or yeah. the fact it's... you're standing so close to Warwick Davis? It's losing the life. Oh. I'm not risking the grand. Not risking it? No. Nope. All right, then, Joe, we decided to take the money. We'll add the £1,000 to your prize fund and you're guaranteed a place in the final with your captain. Before you sit down, let's reveal these missing prime ministers. So, Joe, now the pressure's off, what would you go for? I might have gone for Ted Heath um, and Clement Attlee might have been my next okay. two. What about the rest of the team? Any ideas? Cameron's Jeff? definitely Cameron. at the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Very <laughs> Cameron. Uh, Macmillan, I think. Stanley Six. Baldwin. Stanley yeah, Baldwin, Baldwin, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. All right, let's find out. Who is behind number 10? 
Ramsay MacDonald. Number nine. Stanley Baldwin, which is what someone said. Number eight. Clement Attlee, Prime Minister for six years, three months. Number six. Harold Macmillan. And number one is... David Cameron, which is what someone said over there. So David Lloyd George was 11th on this list. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, Joe, you've added £1,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £4,500. And you'll be back later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Joe. Cheers. Thanks, guys. We have one last list before Captain Rich faces his tower ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £4,500, but can they add to that pot? Now, Jamie, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person for this one. Please come and play Tenable. Hello, Jamie. Welcome to the game. Hi, Warwick. Thank you. How are you doing? A bit nervous about what could be up there. It could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Jamie, what do you do for work? I'm a civil servant. Fantastic. Now, I hear you've turned into a pretty good runner. Yeah, so um, at the start of uh, lockdown, me and my cousin and my friend, we started we did a charity challenge. So we ran in 2021, 2021 kilometres between the three of us to raise money for St Christopher's Hospice. Oh, that's fantastic. And you got fit in the process. Excellent. Yeah, well, I'd like to... You know, I started doing a couch to 5K thing. Got the couch sorted, now just need the five kilos of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jamie, it's time to see. Will you be saint or silly sausage? Let's find out. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Absolutely. Good. Here's your question. Ten Shakespeare plays by characters. I'll just clarify this for you. The Tenable Tower will show the names of ten major Shakespearean characters. We are looking for the names of the ten Shakespeare plays in which they appear. Is that clear? Yeah. So, do you know your Shakespeare? <sighs> I mean, I studied it at school, but a little while ago now. A little while ago. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> OK, so to help you, here are your ten clues. Malvolio, Hermione, Prospero, Shylock, Friar Lawrence, Benedict, Macduff, Cordelia, Ophelia and Titania. So there are your clues. How do you feel about it? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Maybe now a couple might need some help on this one from the team, but... So Give there are the ten Shakespeare characters. Let's get your first play on the board. OK. Um, I will go for Macbeth, please. Is Macbeth our first tenable answer? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well done. Uh, so let's get another answer up there. Go for a Midsummer Night's Dream. Is a Midsummer Night's Dream tenable? Yes, there is. So, bottom of the list. So, Malvolio is jumping out at me, and I think I know what it's from. I could look quite stupid here, but I'm going to go for Romeo and Juliet. Is Romeo and Juliet tenable? Well done, Jamie. Interesting. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a guess at Tempest. Is Tempest tenable? Yes, it is. Good work. Now, look at this. You've got four correct answers on the board, one away from £1,000 and a place in the final. You're doing very well. Don't forget, you've got the three nominates and this is your last chance to use any of them. So, I'm going to nominate and I'm going to nominate Mark. Mark, can you help out with an answer for Jamie here? Uh, yeah, I think, I think Shylock is from The Merchant of Venice. So, Mark thinks The Merchant of Venice. Do you trust him? I trust him, yeah. Go you back. do? Yeah. 
So you're going with Merchant of Venice. Merchant of Venice, Warwick, thank so you. So for £1,000 and a place in the final, is Merchant of Venice our fifth tenable answer? So that super sound means you've got five tenable answers and you've won a place in the final. We'll also add that £1,000 to your team's prize fund. Now, Jamie, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers up there left to reveal. If you think you know more of them, you can play on. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500, but you can't use your nominates or the overall button. You've still got a life so you can make one mistake, and that's it. I'm going to go with the 12th night. For £2,500, is Twelfth Night tenable? <laughs> yes, Alvolio is from Twelfth Night. So you're doing well, Jamie. £2,500 into your prize fund. Okay. And you've still got the life. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000. This is really bad. I really should be able to remember more than five. Mm. You really should. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have a guess, and I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but I'm going to say King Lear. So for £5,000, is King Lear tenable? Cordelia is from King Lear. Well done, Jamie. So was that a total guess? It was in the back of my mind, but mm. I wasn't 100% sure if it was Shakespeare or not. So your next correct answer is worth £10,000, and you've still got the life. I'm going to say... Henry II? I'm sure that's wrong, but... I might kick myself here, but I'm going to say Henry II. You're going Henry II? Yeah. For £10,000, is Henry II tenable? Oh, no, that's untenable. Henry II is not a Shakespeare play. Didn't think it was. So you've lost your life now. Be careful, Jamie. Another incorrect answer means you'll leave via the vortex and lose the money you've banked, which is currently £5,000. Uh, you won't be surprised to know that I'm going to take my seat and bank the money, Warwick. <laughs> oh, you do surprise me, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> so you've decided to take the money, we'll add the £5,000 to your team's prize fund, and you're guaranteed that place in the final with your Captain Rich. Before you sit down, let's reveal these missing plays. Team, any ideas? I guessed Hamlet. Hamlet, yeah. Hamlet. Hamlet. yeah. And maybe Much Ado About Nothing. OK, let's have a look. Ophelia was from yeah. Hamlet. Benedict is from Much Ado About Nothing, how critics describe this show. <laughs> Hermione, The Winter's Tale. So there they are. You kicking yourself now, Jamie? Hamlet, yeah, I should have known that. Oh, you did very well. You've added £5,000 to your prize fund, giving your team a tasty total of £9,500 and your return later on to play for it in the final. Congratulations, Jamie. Well done. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. After the break, Captain Rich will try and top up that pot one final time. Grab a tea and see you in three. Welcome back to Tenable, where we've been testing saints and winners with some brain-bothering towers of ten. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their cracking £9,500 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper Rich to take on the tower. Now, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final with all four of your teammates. So this is your chance to add as much money as possible to the prize fund. Are you up to it? Yeah, let's hope so. 
Fantastic. Rich, please come and play Tenable. Go, on, Rich. So, Rich, are you happy how the team have played? You're never 100% happy, but I think these are the best four I could muster. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do, Rich? Well, I qualified as an accountant, but I'm currently a reward manager at an asset management firm in London. My wife's the reward manager around ours. <laughs> when I've been good, she tickles me tummy and gives me a biscuit. <laughs> now, I hear you're known as Smelly Dad. Yeah, that's the nickname my daughter Millie, who's three, has given me. Uh, and unfortunately, she's taken to singing a Smelly Dad song when we're in public uh, and following me around making uh, windy pop noises and blaming oh, it on gosh. me. So she's a handful. So how does a windy pop noise go? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes louder. But you must have done something to deserve this in the first place. I don't think so. I think just not give her chocolate or take away something she wanted to play with. So you've never made a windy pop noise? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> I actually lost my sense of smell, which is a shame. I do miss the unique scent of Dave on camera three. <laughs> Very musky. OK, Rich, it's time to play Tenable. Here's how the game works. You'll be playing just like your teammates before you, and because you've got a full team in the final, you're playing to add more cash to your prize fund, so another potential £25,000 is up for grabs. As always, you need to get five correct answers to get onto the money ladder and reach £1,000. Once you get there, you can walk away or choose to play on. You've got one life and the team has left you with two nominates. But, of course, there's no overall button because you're up here standing with me. So, are you ready to play Tenable? Ready as ever be. Good. Here's your question. Ten places by foods named after them. This is about foods named after places in the UK that are listed in the Oxford Companion to Food as of January 2022. The Tenable Tower will show the part of ten names of foods that follow a UK place name. We are looking for the UK place names that complete the ten foods. So is that clear? Clear, yeah. Good. Here are your ten clues. Smoky, Oliver, Clanger, Pasty, Skink, Soul, Bridie, Mint Cake, Hot Pot, and Pond Pudding. So there are the ten foods. Let's get your first UK place name on the board. I will go Cornish Pasty. OK, let's see. Is Cornish Pasty tenable? Yep, there it is. The Cornish pasty, of course, is from Cornwall. Now, remember, you need to give us the UK place name. Mm. I'm going to use one of the nominates, Warwick. Uh, I'm going to nominate Mark. OK, Mark, you've been nominated. Can you help Rich with an answer here? Yeah, Kendall Mint Cake. Happy with that, yeah. You're going with that. Is Kendall tenable? Well played, and good use of the nominate. Well done, Mark. Yeah, I'm struggling on this board, to be honest. Are you? Um, I'm going to use another nominate. Who will it be? I'm going to nominate Jamie. OK, Jamie, can you help? Um, I'm going to go for Dover Soul. Going yeah, for Dover? What do you think, Rich? Happy with that one, yeah, obvious when you hear it. OK. Is Dover tenable? There it is. Good use of the nominate there. Well done, Jamie. Yeah, we're in, we're in guessing territory yeah, now. Yeah, you're on your own now. No more nominates. To be honest, I don't know any of them, so I'm, I'm purely guessing. An area that names a lot of things after itself. I'll, I'll go Yorkshire. Going for Yorkshire. Is Yorkshire tenable? So you've lost your life now, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, I really just don't know any of these, to be honest. Um, I feel like the hot pot one I've heard, but just it's not coming to me. Yeah, no, none of them are coming to me. Um, I'll guess Liverpool again. You're saying Liverpool? Yeah. Is Liverpool tenable?
Oh dear, that was untenable. Rich, sadly you haven't added any money to the prize fund. No. But you're still in the final, so let's see if you can do any better there. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, before you sit down though, any other thoughts on what might be up there? Yeah, um, Lancashire, Lancashire Hot Pot. Hot, hot. hot Broth, Smoky, Cullen Skink. Let's have a look. Pond Pudding is from Sussex. Hot Pot is, of course, Lancashire. So Bridey is Forfar. Skink. Cullen. Someone said that, I think. It's a fish soup. Clanger. Bedfordshire. That is a pastry containing a savoury and a sweet half. Mm. So Oliver. Bath. They're biscuits or crackers. Smoky. Arbroath. That is smoked haddock from Arbroath in Scotland. So what do you reckon, Rich? Uh, even looking at those, yeah, Lancashire Hot Pot's the only one I probably could have got. Well, unfortunately, Rich, you failed to add any money to your prize fund, but we'll see you back in the final with all of your teammates, where you'll be playing for £9,500. Let's hear it for Rich. I'm Rich. I'm Rich. After the break, Saints and Winners' quest for cash reaches its conclusion. Ladies and gents, it's getting tense. Welcome back to Tenable, where Saints and Winners have all their players in the final and are playing for the sizzling sum of £9,500. Well, Saints and Winners, to take home that prize, this time you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect 10. Get 10 out of 10 and you'll be walking away with that frisky £9,500. So how do you all feel? I'm a bit nervous, but hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, Saints and Winners, it's time to face your final Tower of Ten. For your final list, you have two categories to choose between. Let's take a look. Olympics, Oscar winners. So, team, what do you like the look of? I think probably Olympics, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Oscar winners might be all right, but yeah. it's pretty niche, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, Olympics. Yeah. Olympics. We're going to yeah. go for Olympics, Warwick. You're going for Olympics. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you must say one answer and nothing else. You've chosen Olympics. Let's reveal your final list of ten, worth £9,500. The ten national teams that won the most medals at the 2020 Olympic Games. We are looking for the ten national teams that won the greatest number of medals at the 2020 Summer Olympics, held in Tokyo in 2021. This is about the total of all gold, silver and bronze medals. Russia is not a tenable answer, as the national team was suspended. So there you go. Rich, please take your position. So what do you think of this question? Was it what you hoped for? It's not too bad. Uh, I can think of a few. Um, I'm going to start with the, probably the most obvious one. OK, so when you're ready, give us your first answer. Uh, I'm going to go for China. Is China tenable? Yes, there it is. 88 medals for China. So, Mark, you're up next. Please step forward. So, how is this one for you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Good. I'm going to say Japan. Is Japan tenable? So there they are. The host nation won 58 medals. Ali, please step forward. Ali. How's your Olympic knowledge? It's OK. I didn't watch a huge amount of the last games. But I'm going to say USA. Let's see. Is USA tenable? Let's top the table with 113 medals. Well done, Ali. So, Joe, please step forward. So, look at this. Three out of three so far. Can you make it four out of four? Uh, hopefully. 
Um, I'll go for what I believe is probably the only one. <laughs> probably get yeah, just go Great Britain. Is Great Britain tenable? Yes, they are. Good work. Jamie, please step forward. So everyone's got one right so far, so no pressure. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for Australia. Is Australia tenable? Yeah, that's tenable. The Australians won 46 medals. So, Team Captain Rich, please step forward. So, the perfect start to this game. You got five out of five. Yeah, I think we've knocked off the five obvious ones now, so into sort of guest territory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Germany. Is Germany tenable? Well done, Rich. OK, Mark, please step forward. Let's get another answer up there. OK, I'm going to say Netherlands. Well, let's find out. Is Netherlands tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Ali, please step forward. So, Ali, can you give us an answer you think is going to be in this top ten? France. Is France tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Good work, Ali. All right, then, Joe, your turn. So, Joe, look at this. <laughs> You're just two correct answers away from £9,500 here on Tenable. What would you do with the money? Put it towards the kitchen, Warwick, for me and the partner, to be honest. <laughs> so you need a new kitchen, do you? Yeah, badly. All right, then, let's get an answer on the board. So you're saying... Canada. Is Canada Tenable? Well done. Jamie, please step forward. So Jamie, it's all down to you now. Give me a bit of a guess, but I'm going to say Italy. So, for a perfect ten and nine and a half thousand pounds, is Italy our final tenable answer? <laughs> that means you're going home with that nine and a half thousand pounds. How do you all feel? Amazing. Amazing. Unbelievable. Superb. <laughs> so that was an almost perfect game, guys. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> so there you have it. These Saints were sure winners and head home with the Wonga. Well done, team. Join us next time when five more contestants play Tenable. Goodbye. <laughs>